Okay, hi there again. Uh, Scott from EdgeMath. Uh, got a question about uh, confidence interval for population mean from a student. So it Forbes reports the average annual cost of college in the U.S. is around 28000 per year. Suppose we take a sample of uh, 12 colleges, so and then we find their mean cost is 30100 So, So let's construct a 95% confidence interval for that mean annual cost. And we can assume the overall standard deviation is 2000 And then we can test whether the Forbes reported annual cost is accurate. So, so we're constructing that confidence interval around that mean cost. So it's going to be about the mean cost, plus or minus. Um, and here we're given the overall standard deviation. So when we're given that, we always use z, otherwise you use t, times the standard deviation over the number in the sample. I'm going to plug these numbers in. That's, this is the mean. Then the z value we need to find. Then we're given the standard deviation. And, and then we're given n. That's the number of colleges. So, uh, delete that. So we can plug those in. Uh, we need. Then we, the only thing left is we need z. So 28,000 plus or minus, we're going to need the z value for the 95% confidence interval. Then times the standard deviation is 2,000 over square root of 12. And we just need to find that z value. And we can do that using three ways to find the z value. So for the we need the z value for 95% CI. And then one way is to use a normal CDF on the TI 83 or 84. And another way is to use uh, the Z table or the normal distribution table. Or you can use an online calculator. Got this 95% confidence interval, so that's going to look like it's a 95% confidence interval. So we've got this mean and then a 95% range around it. So we're, we think this is the mean, but we've got um, we're going to allow some leeway around it. So we're, we want a range that's large enough to give 95% confidence that the true mean is within that. So. So this is got a 95% range here. So that means that there's a total of 5% outside of it. Because the total is 100. So those two combine to 5%. And that means in each tail, we've got 2.5%. I'll show you why we need this. Uh, because we're gonna we're looking for the we're gonna use the p value, the cumulative probability to find the z value. But the p value includes this is this is what our z value is. And the p value includes everything to the left of that. So it includes the 95% confidence interval as well as the 2.5% left tail. So we get p equals 0 point or 95 percent plus 25 percent. That's 0 0.975 as a decimal, or 97.5 percent. And then if you're using normal CDF, this is z value, so it's standardized to mean equals 0, standard deviation equals 1. So we're standardizing it to to 0, 1. Uh, we're not using the mean and the standard deviation in the problem. And now we want to go to stat track. Uh, so, um, so we type in Google stat track 
normal distribution calculator. Good, so we've got our normal distribution calculator and we're looking for the z value. We've got our cumulative probability that was 0.975 and we're looking for the z value so we leave that blank and we calculate and get z equals 1.96 so that's 1.96 and that's a common you might almost memorize that because that's a common for the 95% confidence interval we need that so we want to calculate 28,000 plus or minus 1.96 times 2,000 over square root of 12. Let me pop this in the calculator. So we pop this in the calculator and it got uh, 1131.606. So, so 28,000 plus or minus 1131. 1131.6. So that means the confidence interval is it's going to be 28,000 minus 1131.6 to 28,000 plus 1131.6. And we're testing whether let's see we're so we're told that the reported uh, the mean cost of this sample is 30,100. And this upper limit is this upper limit is like 29,131.6, and then the lower limit doesn't matter since it's above it. But um, but we've got 30,000. The sample is population is 30,100, and that's is outside of the 95% CI. So we can conclude just based on this sample. It's quite, quite unlikely to get a sample of 12 that has a, a mean that high. So we conclude that the Forbes reported uh, cost is wrong given this sample. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and hope you have a great day.